Jay, do you have a Halloween story for the class? Yeah, yeah. Um, there was this boy, and he lived in his house, and um, and he went to bed one day, and, and then when he woke up, um, when when he woke up, he was he was buried up to his head in the dirt, and um, he couldn't move, and this man came walking along, but instead of the man helping him out. The man just started kicking him, kicking him in his face, over and over, and then he got the lawnmower, and then he...
What's up, man? Yep, we're getting that stuff right there. Damn, y'all getting all this? Yeah. Well, let me take let me take this up to the counter. For you can get you some shoes out the back or something. Man, a lot of shit. Yeah. Hey, big man. Hmm. I see you looking at them jerseys. Yep. What you need about a four X or something? <laughs> hey, Sly Pimpin', I know you need about an extra medium or something. You about my size. <laughs> <laughs> I got y'all though, man. Y'all, y'all look like y'all spending a lot of money up in here, Playboy. Yeah, just you know. All right, all right. Yeah, check out these Timberlands. Oh, I'm straight. No, just check, check out these Timberlands. Man, look, we're just trying to get up out of here, all right? What y'all do, man? Y'all, y'all in the movies or something? I seen you in that one movie. You look, you look familiar, like you was in that movie with Jamie Foxx. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, my bad, dog. Y- y'all got somewhere to be or something? Yeah, we're about right, here, man. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, dog. Pay hey, for this in the- come on, man. Let me holler at you for a minute. What's up? Hey, check it out. Y'all getting a lot of stuff, man. Y'all look like y'all getting some chips, you know? You no, know, I was just trying to be like, you know, trying to be a big dog like y'all, you know? <laughs> right. Slide me like 100, 200, come 100 hours or something, you know? Man, you want to like, fucking crazy. What the fuck are you saying? Give you some money? <laughs> oh, give you some shit? Hey, I'm you just bro- trying to grow you. up too, baby. Y'all in this motherfucking balling, dog. Nah, I mean, fuck that. What's fuck going off, bitch. What's going on?
mom She came to do the steamer blood and soon they still be mad I stuff you full of chili cheese dogs and make you fat Then I spread your fucking lips and stick them in your ear So all the evil shit you talk, only you can hear I shave your ball and glue your titty on the top And then I spin it on your nipple until you drop Hey, almost ready, jump steady, open the door Cause at the house of wonders, you're the freak show She was on her back And I'm finally sticking Dump ya And I'm keeping my chicken You never guess what My first day out 
and I call my nerve.
long, motherfucker. Really? They call me the big wheel of cat peeler, you know what I'm saying? I run this whole motherfucker, the whole block, dog. They call me the king, the big king. King killer, big wheel of cat peeler, yeah. That's what they call me around this motherfucker. I run this bitch. I got this bitch locked down. I'm a big gang banger, man. I'm a gang banger, motherfucker. See, they ain't think that we was gang banging out in this neighborhood, but they don't know about me and my clique, dog. And if you all wanna be down, shit, we can sit down and talk, you know what I'm saying? Get your ass in here right now and Here I come. Oh, uh, dog, I gotta go, man. Okay. But look, meet me here tomorrow after school. Oh, yeah. uh, oh wait, I got your book. All right, meet me here around 5 30 tomorrow, sure. dog. Yeah, you uh, all right, guys. Go. You're gonna Peace. get in trouble. I hope he doesn't get grounded, dude. Yeah, me too, because then we couldn't be gay. Let's meet contestant number one. He's a schizophrenic serial killer clown who says women love his sexy smile. Let's find out if his charm will work on Sharon. Sharon, what's your question? Contestant number one. I believe first impressions last forever. So let's say you were to come over to my parents' house and have dinner with me and my family. Tell me what you do to make that first impression really stick. Let's see. Mm. Well, I'd have to think about it. I might show up in a tux, but I doubt it. I'd probably just show up naked like I always do. And look your mama in the eye and tell her, fuck you! Hurry up, bitch, I'm hungry. I smell spaghetti. I'd pinch her loopy ass and tell her, get the food ready. Start tripping and get me pissed I'd have to walk up and bust him in his fucking lips It's dinner time We're hearing grace from your mother I'd pull a 40 out and force him for your little brother I'm steady staring at your sister I'll tell you this You know for only 30 she got some big tits After that, your dad would try to jump again And only this time I'd put the 40 to his chin After your mom does the dishes and the silverware I'd try fuck her till I nut Now let's meet contestant number two. He's a psychopathic, deranged, crackhead freak who works for the dark carnival. He says women call him stretch nuts. Sharon, let's hear your question. I like a man who's not afraid to show his true emotions. A man who expresses himself in his own special way. Number two, if you fell in love with me, exactly how would you let me know? First thing, I could never love you. You sound like a witchy bitch, yo. Soft all day. I grab your titties and stretch them down past the waist. Let them go and watch them both spring up in your face. I sing love songs to ya the best I can. Get you naked and hit it like a game. Man. Then we go to the beach and walk through the sand. I throw a little in your face and say I'm just playing. As you spit it all out, I whip your back and grab your underwear and wet it up your ass. <laughs> well, it sounds like contestant number two is just overflowing with sensitivity, Sharon. It's a tough choice so far. Sharon, let's have your last question and see which one is going to win the rights to your net. Okay, if we were at a dance club and you both noticed me at the same time, tell me, how would you each get my attention and what would your pickup line be? Whoever's the smoothest wins. Okay.
a serial killer They would find all my victims' heads In funky-ass gas station toilets And if I was a serial killer
killer I would bury all my special projects underneath the garden in my grandmother's backyard and if I was a serial killer I would be strange and deranged and I would rock my hatchet chain